I am so excited about this. My friends have decided that we're going to do a ghetto burger cook-off. Okay, so I said, all right, well, you know, good friends, good food, you got to have a good time, right? All right. right. So my friend over here, Shelton, is going to do his thing. Should I tell him what they're going to do? Um, he said a job turkey. Okay, we'll see. But um, now my friend, Nicole, she's going to do, what did she say she was going to do? Oh, a buffalo burger. Or a, yeah, a buffalo, a what? Buffalo a butt. Burger. A, a buffalo butt burger. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to do, of course, the dynamite burger. Okay. In honor of my brother, Jay. Jay. Mm, but I can cook this. Now, you take <laughs> ground beef or you could do turkey. No matter, you know, like about a pound. And then you're going to put a uh, half a teaspoon of garlic in there. And then you're going to put a half a teaspoon of onion powder in there. And then you're going to put chopped up uh what is this jalapeno pepper in <laughs> dynamite yes and then we're going to put a half a teaspoon of steak seasoning you know a little something different and of course a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce i said it Worcestershire. i said it does it right Good. anyway it's always a tough one to say you said it right thank you and then I'm it's fun to say <laughs> Huh? It's fun to say. <laughs> it isn't. No, it isn't. But I'm going to put some, some black pepper, a little about it, half a teaspoon of black pepper in there. Now, I really wanted to put some more hot stuff in there, but I said, well, maybe everybody can't take that. I could. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> so you stir that, you mix that, you mix that all up and everything, and then you make your some like, you know, you Put it in two little patties, the not little big, please. You know, they're big. Yeah, and so of course I have some ready while I have those cooking. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Oh wow! Wow! Whoa! Dynamite! All, all right. right! All right! Okay. okay, Sheldon. I see you. We see you, Bernadette. Okay. What you got, Sheldon? Well, Bernadette, it looks quite tasty and a little bit explosive. <laughs> but a sweet daddy likes a jazz turkey. Burger that is. <laughs> Free my apron. It says, Mama, why is the jazz turkey in the dictionary? The answer is because it's on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> a pound of lean ground turkey. And you take you an egg and you beat your egg, beat your egg, put your egg in your ground turkey. Then you take a little a few cloves. You got to get you some cloves, fresh cloves, some good garlic. Sprinkle your garlic over your ground turkey. And then you take a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Y'all know that's that W sauce. You said it right <laughs> There's that fun word. You put that W in it. And then you take some fresh chopped parsley. Gotta be fresh, not McCormick, but fresh. You sprinkle <laughs> that on there, okay? And then you take your kosher Salt. Now, just take a pinch of salt because y'all remember your blood pressure. Remember your pressure. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Of that over there. Then you take your fresh ground black pepper because everybody likes a little sugar and spice. You sprinkle <laughs> some pepper on there. You put your little pepper on there. And then you take your virgin oil. It's pure. It ain't never been touched. <laughs> and then you mix it in and you make your patties 
And then while that's cooking, I'm going to show you what it's going to look like as the end result. This is the Jive Turkey Baby. This is a Impressive. Some deviled egg potato salad. You get Ooh, your pickle and some garnish. You put you some lettuce and some tomato and yes, you gotta have grilled onions. So ain't nobody gonna top my burger because I'm talking all that jazz. <laughs> well, Shelton, I don't know because we've already heard about the dynamite and now this jive turkey burger. But one thing I can assure you is that it will not top the Buffalo Butt Burger. That's right. You heard me. The Buffalo Butt Burger in honor of everyone's favorite housing project superintendent, Nathan Bookman. All now, right. I'm going to do something a Booker. little bit different than Shelton Bernadette. I am going to use a plant-based meat substitute. Now, the good thing about this recipe is that you can use whatever you prefer. It goes great with ground chicken, ground beef. As a vegetarian, I like the plant-based meat, and there's many on the market. So we're going to use um, a pound of this, and we're going to start with two tablespoons of buffalo wing sauce. You're going to go ahead and throw that in there. We want one teaspoon of chili pepper sauce for that pow. <laughs> one teaspoon of ground kuna. cumin. Is that right? That's right. A little right. bit of salt and pepper to push it real good. <laughs> now here's where it gets fun. I love garlic. Garlic makes everything better. So we're gonna yeah. use two teaspoons of garlic in this recipe. And then to top it off, we're gonna use two tablespoons of crumbled blue cheese. So once you get that all mixed up, gonna do a little bit of mixing. <laughs> I am gonna add my plant-based meat to that. And these are really juicy. So you should get two big juicy burgers out of that. Mm. Then you're gonna go ahead and put that in a nonstick pan with a little bit of oil and let that cook. But while that's cooking, I am going to take my broshi bun and I am going to add a little bit of butter because everybody loves a flaky, buttery bun. So once you toast it, you want to make sure that it's toasted brown. Then you're going to dress your burger. You're going to put a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of shredded celery, blue cheese, buffalo wing sauce, and you're going to top it off with some blue cheese. Now, I have paired my burger with some sweet potato fries, a little blue cheese dressing for dipping, and celery. Mm. I've already won. <laughs> to wash it down. Great Kool-Aid. Oh, so sorry, guys. I've already taken it. That's it. I you know Kool Aid is right. She didn't take All it. All right. So now she didn't take it. That, that burger right. got right. to it. it. We gotta, we gotta look, look, we gotta find out who won, you know, which which one tastes the best. So our friend uh Jade Avery is gonna come in and take a little test. You know, to see who is the best. Hey, everybody. Hi, Hi Jay. I have all three burgers here that I've made with your recipes. So we're going to find out who's going to be the winner. First, I'm going to try the dynamite burger. Ooh, spicy. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Well, that's the idea. Fun. Spicy. Okay. Now, let's try the Jive Turkey Burger. Mmm. It's so good. That barbecue sauce, oh my goodness. 
Okay. Hmm. Last one. Buffalo butt. Here we go. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm loving the flavor combinations here. Yes. This is so hard. <laughs> okay. This is a really difficult decision. Right. But I have to say that Jive Turkey Burger was perfection and full of flavor. What? My choice for the Ghetto Burger Cook-Off is Shelton. Oh, my God. 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 I want a rematch. A <laughs> rematch. That's it. You may have won this one. But you just wait till I get my oatmeal on, baby. <laughs> uh oh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have an oatmeal cook off. Now she's talking, Jack. Watch out, she's coming with the oatmeal. <laughs> I finally learned how. All right, everyone, you can subscribe, you can like, so you can follow us on the Ghetto Food Channel because we are going to continue this and this is going to be wonderful. And so you can also decide which burger you like best after you try it, the recipes down below. Good. These are good. These are good, honey. 